How's it hanging fellas? I'm Orosh and this is another episode of the Outer Worlds and in today's episode we're going to uh, talk to Celius I guess. We have a, a little bit of quests uh, I have to do. I like to look sort of my location. It makes it easier for me to understand where I have to go. I have this. I know where, did it, where it requires me to do but it's one of the main quests requires me to go there anyway so I'm gonna do them both at the same time. This quest we can, um, no wait, wait, wait. Read message, speak to Fikar. That's a different quest. Cache of medicine, this is, this is the two quests we're gonna do today. And this one, but this one pretty much we just have to turn it in. I think I convinced him. Come for a visit? Not today. Just helping this fella. Fella? What you fucking called me? Fella. Very well. Lovely How's it to going, up, fella? Things going alright, Silas? I got a crush on her. Fuck you. This. I have a crush on her too. Uh, let's... Wait, what? Keeping him careful and true, Myth. Keeping who? Oh, her, her dad, probably. Cause Best to dead. ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Uh... Silas watches over him when I get... When I can't leave the house. It's none of my business. Something I can do for you? Uh, we need to talk about... About these fees you, you want wanted? Any trouble? I'm all done. Reliable work from a freelancer. Out of my way there and for you, you know? Something for maybe something more like a currency? Uh, suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Well, shit, thanks. I don't really care though. I'm not gonna snitch on Abernathy. So, okay, let's go do these other quests. Fist full of digits and a long tomorrow. This re ah shit. This requires us to go to like four different lo no wait three different locations. Well, four since I have to retrieve the medicine too. Just running up a hill. I don't even know where I'm going exactly. I know I want a sniper rifle. Because a sniper rifle is gonna be pretty cool at the beginning. For some reason, sniper rifles become the, like the weakest weapons in my arsenal at the end. But maybe that's just my fault and not exactly the game. A revolver, that's cool. What you got? Nothing? Fuck you. What you got? Nothing? Fuck you, double. Ah, uh, see, there's this guy. Originally, I just took him down with like. What's my toughest weapon I have in my arsenal? Oh, the rifle. I think I... Yeah, I ran out of ammo for it. Eh, whatever. We're gonna approach them anyway. We're on a bounty hunting mission here. Keep them quiet. Find you. here we go. Got I got him. I seen people playing reviews for... Like Alex and it got like a 10 from IGN. But who cares about IGN the rig? But still I think, I think it's pretty amazing. I feel like it's setting some kind of standard for what VR game should be. Amazing. It looks so fucking good, I wanna play it and it just makes me sad I don't have a VR set. I don't even have like a PSVR and one of the games I really wanted to play in VR, where's the dead corpse? Was Astrobot. Holy shit, Half of Alex looks fucking sick. And from what I see in Gabe and Newell Gabe and Newell been talking about uh new Half Life games that this is not some Oh, that's a cool looking tree. That this is not some kind of like one off that they're gonna want to do more games in the Half Life universe. So you know what that means? Down the line, eventually we'll probably get Half Life four, which is pretty cool. You guys suck. Bravati! What are you doing? Ow, I'm getting bitten, but I can't fucking tell. I feel like there should be more... You know, like I should be able to tell better that I'm getting shot at. I 
Because the only way I could have even tell is that I saw him running at me. But when they don't, it's just like... There's no like jam in my eyes or anything like that. Okay, Parvati took on the... Oh, never mind, she died. But also took care of the, the bounty for me. So if you're playing on Supernova, companions die permanently. But how it works, when companion dies during a combat... During combat, uh, if you don't die, and you actually manage to kill everyone, then they're just going to come back into your life. A sniper rifle now. If I had a sniper rifle before, I could have just sneak in, kill the guy, take his finger, and that's it. That would be funny if I came back with three fingers as proof of my of a job well done, but then I will be missing three fingers myself. Eh, you know, I had a little bit of a... Like, I'd come back like five minutes immediately after I took the job. Like, yeah, already taken care of everyone. My missing fingers? I don't mind them. What missing fingers? I never had fingers in the first place. Who even needs fingers? Necklace. Cool shit. In the garbage. Shotgun in this game. I mean, this one just sucks, I don't know. My rifle's cool though, I like my rifle. There are like two different rifles in this game only, and I don't know, I'm a little disappointed in the weapon variety, I guess. Okay, wait, this leads me back to the town, so I'm gonna go for this bounty right now. Sniper rifle, I'm just going to, you know. Oh shit. Are these like scary? I don't know, it's called. Whoa, patient. It's called Primal Behemoth. I don't know about them being friendly. But I could possibly sneak past them. Thankfully, when you're sneaking, your companions don't uh, affect anything, so. Oh no! So if Parvati just runs in front of them like an idiot, because she's an idiot. Then it won't affect my sneaking around, and I'll be able to just simply, just simply take care of it. Oh shit! I think it saw me. When they have little dots above them, it doesn't mean anything. When the dots turn red, then that means that they probably saw me. Oh, so this is the place we were supposed to go, but I ain't going there yet. I might as well go visit that place. Because it has some unique, uh... I know there's a quest that has, has you go this way. And I'm not sure if, if I don't visit it now, and later I will be able to just simply ignore it. And these guys running at me have the exact, exact same pose as bandits and borderlands. It's really funny. This is just this game. Constant comparisons to Fallout and Borderlands. Hold on, I think they get a sniper. Where's my sniper rifle? That's a lookout, shit. Slowing down time is pretty cool for sniper rifles, that, that, that I gotta admit. How much damage does this does anyway? 53. What the fuck? You think a sniper rifle would do like amazing damage and not shit? Somehow it does amazing damage. I don't, I don't get sniper rifles in this game. They do less damage than anything else. But they're like, not. I mean, maybe it's because I'm shooting them in the head. Could be. But I'm not too sure about that. Bypass whatever. Bypass range, hunting rifles. I know where to find a unique hunting rifle. I pretty much know where every unique weapon in this game is, because I looked it up and I was looking for them. 
because this is what I always like to do in Fallout. I like to collect unique items that you can only find in like one place and just put them in my safe house. On display or not, in Skyrim I did that too, where I would just collect unique items. I wouldn't need them, but I would just like to collect them. There's a broken lock, okay. There's a, there has to be a... Comp there's a companion later down the line, and she wants us to bring her here, and then she opens the door. And there's like two dead people, and she's like, oh no, they're dead. And then we have to bury them or some shit. I don't know, companion quests aren't too interesting in this game. It's like Parvati's quest pretty cool. It's a little annoying, I think it's like the longest out of all the characters, but it's just because she requires you to go to like multiple planets. And what we're doing right now, her making her hang out with us, isn't her companion quest. Uh, the second companion we get is also pretty cool. I, I wanna not spoil who's the second companion. At first I thought like, oh, this guy's fucking boring, but and he actually became pretty cool. If not even my favorite. Um, Ellie, like the girl that has been shown on all the promotional videos of this game. I guess they were really proud of her design. She's also... her quest okay, but it's not like too complicated or hard. Alright, shut up! You're gonna warn him. It's like, hmm, what's that? Someone leveled up around me? Man, shotguns are garbage. Took like whole magazine in his face and still survived it. Oh, oh crap! Oh man! Oh shit! Shit! Have I died so far? I don't think I did. It kind of sucks to die now. Oh, I know what's been killing me. An enemy standing behind me and me not being aware that I'm getting shot at. I mean, getting bitten by a stupid whatever dinosaur. And I'm out of ammo, and I'm out of patience for this shit. Wait, it's a cool mask, I gotta give him, give him that. I know where unique armors are, and that's pretty cool too. Body, are you alright, Pavarotti? Are you dead by any chance? No, but I got skills. What was I going with? Ranged weapons. Here we go, ranged. I'm not gonna go with. Uh... No, no, wait, wait. Fuck. That's not how I wanted to do it. Wait, why did it. No. I want to max out ranged weapons and then, for example, dialogue. Did I do that? Fuck, there's like no sound effects for anything. Tactical time. Uh, I don't think I want that. Damage when alone in party. I'm pretty much never alone in party. Walk speed could be cool. Oh, look, I'm slightly faster, I think. I can't even tell. I got a unique weapon. I was an idiot when I first started this game and I thought that some of the unique weapons are just like generic and they were like randomly spawn. Because Fallout 4 had a, a mechanic like that. There were unique weapons that only appeared in one place and they were kind of unique. They had some gimmicks going around. But there were also this thing where sometimes like a if you found like a really tough enemy, they would give you a unique weapon. But it wouldn't be like a... Like a made by Bethesda unique weapon, it would be more like randomized. It was al almost like in Borderlands, where weapons had their parts and different stuff you could customize. So for example, if you had two like iron revolvers, scrappy iron revolvers, dropped from an enemy, they, they wouldn't both be the same. And it made me think that, okay, wait, I have to go this way. Is that right? 
I can't tell what I'm, what I'm looking. No, wait, this is the next target. This guy might be the toughest, to be honest. Because, th what, this guy was like three people hanging out in a cave. The last guy, okay, he got a camp full of people, but I still took care of him pretty well. I like the style of this game, you know? Like, what is this? A flower? It looks really. Whoa. Whoa. That's so cool. I never did that. My head's in a flower. I wanna put my face up to a flower like that. And eat it. Anyway, so we're gonna take care of these quests and turn them in. Also, we might talk to the vicar. Because there's a quest where I have to talk to a priest. I don't know what the fuck is the difference between a vicar and a priest. I think they're the same. I think vicar is more... Like, isn't completely, like, dedicated. Because the priest, you know, he, like, sleeps in a house next to the church. He pretty much just... Hangs out at the church all day, maybe at some charity work or something like that. But a vicar, <clears throat> you know, he might be preaching about God in the evenings, but... During the day, he might be going around and doing some other shit. Might be sitting around in his house playing video games all day, streaming. Telling people that it's just a game, it's a weak man mindset. But then in the evenings, he might be preaching about how he... <clears throat> how he's gonna fucking kill you. What the fuck I'm talking about? I see enemies. Enemies spotted. How did I only... Where's my ammo? Where did it all go? See, it doesn't go down. That's pretty cool. I can just sit here like that. They didn't even kill them with one shot. It's like the sound effects for shooting are so weak when they're far away. When you're far away, gas sounds like you're making up noise with your mouth. What the fuck? I know another unique weapon around here. This is ca- Ooh, assault rifle. Wait a minute. It's a different rifle. It's better than what I have. He uses a uh, heavy. And this is what? Heavy, too. So it's pretty much the same thing, I guess. No, wait, not the pistol. Not the pistol. Ah, shit. Put it away. Not what I wanted to fucking do, I swear to god. Got a new gun. I wanted to have the pistol and my rifle. There we go. I chose the wrong rifle. Fuck it. Wanna use it a little longer, why not? Gonna change it up later. For the sake of variety. You could gameplay with every gun. Why not? I can get one of these guns uh, later in the game, it's pretty cool actually. Alright, so this is where we have to go to get the... Uh, get the guy, but if I'm gonna go here... Uh, wait a minute, how, how do I go down there without breaking my fucking knees? No, without breaking my knees. That wasn't. Take cover. <laughs> Take cover. Good job. I fucking hate this. Like I should have landed on one of the piece of the land, but instead the game pushed me to my death. I could have easily just jumped down, but the game doesn't fucking allow it. It's like I fucking hate it. I could have get down safely in real life in that situation, but in a video game where I'm supposed to feel empowered, I just fall into my death. Or even better, they should have copied more things from Borderlands and not even fall, have fall damage in the first place. And now I'm in the ca- oh, fuck you. That's how this game works. It saves every once in a while, but not often enough. First death, third episode, first death. Fuck my knees, I don't like them anyway. Sucks. Right, I'm gonna go straight for that thing I was looking for. I don't care. It's a robot. 
One thing that sucks is I don't, I don't really have anywhere to put those weapons, and I don't want to sell, sell them. Have I been here? Yeah, I fucking been here. I was searching shit, and now I gotta fucking do it again. I don't have to do it again, but I'd like to. There's some ammo, some fucking healing items, some other bullshit. Energy cells. I gotta use more energy weapons in this game, because when I beat the game, I realized that I have like 5,000 energy ammo, and I don't even have an energy weapon. Okay, so the way down was around here. Here we go without breaking my fucking knees. Very nice. Primal beasts. Alright, alright. There's like a guy. What a tactical shotgun. Fuck, this shit was here all along? Oh, I got an armor. Seven. This one has nine. What does Parvati's armor have? Four, you can have your outfit back. I took Parvati's outfit. His Parvati's parv perverted. <laughs> That's like a primal behemoth. I don't know if I can take him down. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, this isn't good. Shit, shit, shit. This is not. Oh, man. Oh, there's three of them. Even better. I should have not. There's a unique weapon in their nest. I wanted it. And I'm gonna be back at this fucking cave. You don't see my save files, right? Because the game displays them in like the PlayStation menu and not its own menu. Which is kind of weird. Not many games do that anymore, right? On PS3, I had a lot of games that would do that, but I think even Uncharted. Two did that, but on PS4 not many games do that when it's like showing a PlayStation menu. Where am I right now? Why did the game save here now? Okay, I'm gonna go back there anyway because there was a tactical shotgun and a new armor set for me. That would definitely make thing make things a little easier for me. I feel like now that I know where everything is and what I have to do. Shotgun, all this cool shit. Blah blah blah. This guy's armor set. Uh, I couldn't give a weapon to Parvati now that I think about it. I didn't I gave her anything. You can have this. What's your weapon? What the fuck? Why are your, is your weapon so good? Now ah, you gotta keep. You gotta use something unique. You have an axe. Hell yeah. You think I could make Parvati into like a sniper? Cause, oh wait wait wait, I didn't show you this. You can distance medium weapon so she can switch between weapons. And mode aggressive, I pretty much think aggressive is the, the best one. Cause you have commands if you can see on the left bottom corner. I don't know what the, the <clears throat> I don't know what the bottom one does. I think it just tells her to stay the fuck away from me. And the upper one makes her shoot whoever the fuck I'm telling her to shoot. Which is cool. Okay, go on quiet. Go on quiet, go on quiet. Headshot. Another headshot. This one was fatal. All of them should be. Well, not all of them, because some enemies have like heavy weaponry. Like this guy who's pew pew pewing at me right now with his formidable pew pew pewer. I fucking hate it. I gotta. I uh, mean. Go away. Dodging, I can do that too. I never tried it. Oh, maybe dodging I could stop using. Maybe I can prove to be actually better than before. What you got? What you got on you? 
Ooh, I'll be even better, honestly. 16, look at me, I look like a trash person. Nevada, you can have, I can't. She's fighting someone. Navarotti, watch out, you're dead. Die. They even sound like bandits. I'm afraid you're the one who's gonna die. Ha <laughs> ha. Got you, fucking idiot. Got you by the ass. I'm really bad at this whole block picking thing. I can't even pickpocket anyone. That sucks. I gotta have that ability. Why am I not wearing a helmet? Oh, I don't have any. That makes sense, I guess. You can have this. You look better in it anyway. I look like a fucking idiot. Meat tails, I can sell this. I can sell all of this shit. Maybe I'll be selling between episodes so I won't bother you with the fucking me just selling a bunch of shit and buying ammo. Hmm. Oh god, I just noticed something. You see when I hold a pistol and my arm looks like a fucking piece of metal? Yeah, that sucks. Only four bullets left in the mag. I gotta make them count, I guess, right? Gotta Ain't make them count. Man, you're... Man, Pravati, I don't know how... You're even still alive. She's acting like she'd never been outside the walls of the city. And yet she's doing a pretty good job. Keeping up with me. That is a lot of them. And this guy just came out of nowhere. I love when enemies come out of nowhere. Oh, and the heavy boss. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Heal yourself, quick. Oh, you're still alive. What, you had to be dead by now. Got stuck on some rocks. Oh no, why is he here? Gonna take the target at least. Not gone very well. I kinda hate how everybody rushed me. Why couldn't they just fucking stay in position or something? They just all run towards me. And then I had to run back because I couldn't shoot anyone. I mean, I couldn't shoot everyone. Oh, fuck. Plasma cutter. Plasma piece of shit. And then the monkeys came and they killed me. Why couldn't they at least kill the bandits? I almost had the fucking target too. And where the fuck am I now? Well, at least I'm here. Fucking monkeys, where the fuck they came from? I'm gonna fucking murder their entire goddamn species, where are they? More assault rifles. It's assault rifles. Sorry, English not native tongue. I can't speak it. Oh shit. I can fucking hear them! Where the fuck are those sons of bitches? I'm gonna fucking murder them. They came out of the fucking rocks! What, did they heard gunshots and they thought they joined the fun? Fucking idiots. I'm gonna fucking kill everyone. I'm pissed off right now. Look, I'm gonna... I have a good vantage point. I'm gonna fucking take them by surprise. Got it. Inside voices. Just kidding, I can't see anything. Like lava over there? Yeah. The fuck is that about? 
I wonder how many missions I accidentally missed during my playthrough, because I only found some of them, like the guy on the, the... The guy who told me to kill robots, remember, last episode? I only saw... I only did that mission for him. Like, really late in the game, when I was, like, before the final mission, even. I wanna... Ah, fuck, I don't wanna waste my shot. So I'm gonna just, like, get around them. Sometimes they just stand next to, like, explosives. There's some bitch over there. She's not targeted as an enemy. Why is there, like, a bitch just standing there? He's standing next to an explosive barrel. I missed. Are you kidding? Slow mo and everything, and I missed. My fucking dog was. Why the fuck they had to rush me? I'm beautiful. Stay where you belong. In the ground. Parvati. That's the last of them. That's not the last of them, I already see more enemies. Speaking of fucking enemies, who the fuck is this? Wow. You put those marauders in the dirt quicker than the mass marketeer. Teach me your ways. Uh, thanks, I guess. Who's the mass marketeer? Only the most dashing champion of private enterprise ever to don a mask. Until I get my start, that is. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. I should have been lucky I haven't shot you. I need you to clarify something I'm for me. I'm great at clarifying. Are you... Are you alright? How are you even alive? I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, you mean around these guys? The Marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. Queen yeah, set feet... My natural sent charisma. feet picks. They were a bunch of simps. Well, I'm glad I fucking killed them. Okay, I'm impressed how you pulled that off. I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. Are you from Edgewater? I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them. Seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find? But a bunch of former workers can't... Are you a prisoner uh, here no? or some shit? I, I've got all the time in Halcyon. Okay, I'll, I'll be back. I know what part of... What, I know what quest she's part of. What is this? You cannot spread... Yeah, I'm over caring. I know. We're gonna have to unfortunately walk slowly for a while. Because her body's a bitch and she won't carry anything for me. She really won't, but the thing is, uh, we kinda share the same equipment space, so I don't really have to tell her to carry shit for me. She just al already kinda does. Where did they came from? I just killed the. Oh my god. I just killed bandits and all of a sudden a new group showed up. That's the last of them, Parvati? Are you sure? I think I see a little bit more. Can you shut the fuck up? I'm getting. fucking attacked here and she's just making. Funny commentary. I'm here to make funny commentary. Apart from the funny part, but still. Better than nothing, right? I don't know, maybe not. My enthusiasm towards all this shit, it's maybe better without anything. I 
have a plan. Fuck, this is not gonna work. Because I'm over caring. Wait, maybe do I have like a little, little fucking vending machine around? Or a mine? I fucking hate these mines. Thank god I have so much ammo for my pistol. Like a vending machine. Vending machine for my... For myself. Nothing? Like, just nothing? Okay. That kinda sucks, I guess. Oh, maybe there. It's really annoying. They could've at least do something interesting with it. Cause just being slowed down and have a... Have, being forced to be so slow is just annoying. This thing seems like a place that would have a vending machine like that. Yeah, that's a thing I noticed in this game. A lot of the times when I would engage in combat with like bandits and shit, it would just turns out that there's like a, another group of bandits that apparently didn't hear the gunshots and they were just not joining in. Like I can understand that the bandits were really far away and they were like in a completely different camp. But when they're like in the same camp, just at the other ends of each other, and they didn't hurt anything. That's ridiculous. Even though I did make pointed out how when you hear guns from a distance they kinda sound like nothing really. They just fucking make these stupid sounds. You how do you live without a vending machine? You ain't got nothing here? Shit. It's Garbo, this Garbo. I'm playing Yakuza 0 right now. I was gonna beat Death Stranding, but. Man, I just really don't fucking feel like playing Death Str Stranding. I don't think I like that game, to be honest. You know what I hate about Death Stranding the most? The fact that it's kinda like. I don't know, overwritten? Because it sounds like. It tries to, you know, make me feel like, oh look, our plot is really complicated and deep. But all I can think of is that this plot is just fucking dumb as shit. Fuck, there's no vending machines. I'm gonna have to walk slowly like this for the rest of my life. And there's another camp of enemies. Camp Lazlo. Fucking full of bandits. Oh, what a great shot. Oh, they're gonna give up on their marauder friend in like a moment. Yeah, who cares, who cares. Does anybody care? Raise your hand. As I predicted, nobody does. I'm gonna just engage in combat and fucking get it over with. Oh, there's a guy. I got a sniper right for the guy. You hear that? Gunshots. It's not so pathetic. No, stop correcting me. Oh my fucking god, I swear to god, I just wanted to shoot the explosives. And the game wouldn't let me do it, they would just auto aim onto this guy. The last of them. I can't trust anything you say, Pavati. Supposed to be my team member, and you're just being a, a liar. You guys have some kind of fucking vending machine, right? Find a mask. You know what I'm gonna do with the mask? Nothing. What the fuck is going with the lighting? You got something that might interest me? No. There's a house. Please have a vending machine. Have mercy. Have mercy on me. Nothing. Amazing. 
Look, I'm being... This thing slow is so annoying, I swear to God. I mean, this looks like a place they would sell something at. Before it was overrun by, by bandits. I don't even know how you managed to lose a town to bandits. First of all, where did the bandits came from anyway? Okay, nothing. Cool. Terminal, maybe it's something cool. Maybe it has something that can give me a quest. No, nothing. Cool. I think I'm overusing the word cool. I use it a lot right now. I can't even dodge when I'm over carrying, but I don't really care about that too much. This looks like a fun game. Like a secret passage over here. And they got a secret little passage. That leads to nothing, it's just like a back door. Great. There is a secret over there though. It's not a secret, it's just like a stash of weapons. What the fuck are you doing? Making noises that are weird and I don't wanna hear them right now. A crashed ship and they got a container inside. So for some reason I can't squeeze in there. Another example of how I could, of things that are easier in real life than in video games. Squeezing through narrow spots. Anyway, I've seen this uh, argument on Twitter recently about people saying like, oh look, uh, The Last of Us 2. It's suck on that PC gamers I don't know what it is about The Last of Us 2 but I just do not fucking like that game at all I don't like how it looks I, th I feel like the gameplay is gonna be like okay, keep barely going. any Here they come. well that might be obvious but it's like I love fucking Uncharted why do I don't like The Last of Us Is it because Uncharted has like a fun adventure going on and it's like interesting and you shoot guns a lot? And I guess in The Last of Us you just fucking survive the zombies and shit? I don't know because I haven't even played The Last of Us and that's because they just don't want to even fucking play it. What's up bro? Who's screaming? She's running at them. I don't understand her thought process. Why did she all of a sudden thought running at the enemies will be the best tactic here? It's not like the enemy came up right to us. The enemy was more far away. And now she's dead. Good job, buddy. Not role playing as Jesus, Jimmy Bob. Maybe I'm just role playing as myself, being grumpy and fucking pissed off. I can't hit that motherfucker. Slow mo. I said, did you know that the slow mo? I think he said that at the beginning. Phineas. What's up with this guy? He just doesn't take damage. Why am I not doing anything to him? Is it because he has armor on? Well, how did I do this much damage so far and now I can't do anything? And there's more enemies showing up because everyone's dead in this universe. Why aren't this thing even blowing up? Such an unsatisfying explosion, just like, whatever. 
I've been getting shot at from the left and I didn't even notice. Look, I'm shooting! What the fuck? Why does he have so much fucking defense? I don't get it. I've been shooting him so far normally and now all of a sudden he just doesn't take damage. I guess I can be caught if his armor on. It's like I'm not sure. Jesus Christ, next step is gonna be sure, right? Swear to God. There we go, I got him. What an idiot, Jesus Christ. What magical helmet did he have on? Had to be magic, oh never mind. I was gonna say it had to be magical since it made it disappear. I bet it's not even all the enemies around. I bet there's still some idiots who haven't heard that. They're gonna be like, oh, my friends are dead. Oh, shit. When did that happen? What a strange little... Strange world we live in. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go here. Yeah, of course there's enemies who haven't heard that. This guy haven't fucking heard anything. Well, my friends are dying? No. What are you talking about? My friends aren't dying. What the, the shotgun is worthless. I swear to God. I was, I was saying I like this game at the beginning, and I'm just keep complaining about everything. Look again, I did so much damage. And I may shoot him in the asshole. What is this about? All right? Oh, but she can. What the fuck is going on with these enemies? I don't know. Enemies just don't take damage from me. Nobody respects me around here. Hope we don't reach one hour. I really wouldn't like that. I don't fucking like one hour episodes. They're boring. I mean boring. Not always boring. Like the fucking Monster Hunter episodes. That were one hour long. They usually... If an episode was a one hour long, it usually meant that I failed the mission and I had to do it again. No, oh, but don't even fucking... Don't even remind me of Monster Hunter. Fucking so some PTSD with a nerd gun to boss fight. I thought it's better to go here than to than to go uh, back to town to sell shit because there's a vending machine right here. Okay, so enemies are around here, but they're kind of barricaded themselves. I'm gonna open this. Can't get in there, this requires a key. Let me quickly sell a bunch of shit. Like this knife. What? Sell shit. Why can't I sell it? Like, I can't sell it. Why? I can't sell anything, what's going on? Wait, what is that about? Look how over caring I am. I got 177 out of 110 I can carry. And I can't sell anything, what the fuck? I broke the game. Thanks for walking in front of my gun, buddy. It's a very wise choice you made there. If you really want to end your life quickly. And I don't care, if I'm over carrying, I might as well just put everything in my equipment. We're gonna go back to town very slowly. And then I'm just gonna end the episode. We gotta get this stupid medicine for this stupid idiot. And they didn't hurt anything. Screams and gunshots next room. 
Antique saber. Why have I found an antique saber? Antique saber isn't a weapon. It's a quest item. Uh, next old saber. This might look nice in one of the crew's rooms. Yeah, it might look nice, but why would I give to a fucking crew member? Why would I give Pravati a saber? Here we go. You coward, don't run away. Yeah, you go and kill him. I'm gonna walk, walk around to see if I can find some cool shit. Ammunition. It's kind of like always like that with assault rifles because they're really fast. They shoot really fast. It seems like assault rifles just are always out of ammo in my case. Doesn't matter. See, I think if you're gonna approach this place, it's better to enter from the with the door I did. Because you can also enter with the front door, but then you're gonna ru like run into these guys. And you wouldn't want that to happen, would you? Well, I don't know why I even hacked it. There's nothing there. I just I didn't hurt anything. I guess you shouldn't complain too much. I can analyze enemies. Health armor six. Can't get past that armor. Can you get past that armor? Or are you just gonna get shot to death? I mean it's not working. It is just very slow. You know what? He both I can't kill him and he can't kill me right now. Kinda of just stand there and shoot at each other like a naked gun. It's almost like a gag. It doesn't even look it doesn't even look serious. It's over here. Nothing. It was, this guy was admir admiring these jackasses and then I just killed him like an asshole. You know why I killed him like an asshole? Because I'm an asshole. What else was I supposed to kill him like? By the way, there's a moment in the game where you get uh, into a planet with a lot of like animal enemies, more than bandits, there's more animal enemies. And I fucked something up on that planet because I picked up from enemies like meat. And the meat weight a lot. And it also was in the healing item, and I pretty much never sold my healing items because I was like, why would I sell my healing items? Why would I do that? And because of that, both my armor and my guns are fucked up. Maybe that's why I can't penetrate. Because my gun is messed up. But if my gun's messed up... This one, right? Can't I just use a different one? There we go, all new. Great. It's got a new gun. It's the same as the last one. There's a bunch of orcs here. If I was the mayor of the Edgewater, I'd try to kill every single one of the fucking bandits. How do these bandits even form? Like in Fallout, I get it because you kind of try to survive. So you form into like criminal groups and you just simply... Oh shit, there's some cool stuff here. So you just simply steal from others. But in like this, this game's case, why would the people become bandits? Just because they're a bunch of assholes? Because you kinda have to shoot at someone. Have I 
found this fucking medicine or have I not? Have I found a key card? Yeah, I think I did. So the medicine should be here. Who ate my lunch? There you go, that's the medicine for the quest. I think we should give it back to the guy or should we like sell him out to the girl? She told us she'll pay us more. So I'm willing to be on her side. Speaking of guns that are broken. No, this gun isn't broken. You see these icons at the bottom of the screen? I think they tell you if the gun's broken or not. So with the town all cleared out, pretty much I possibly have killed every bandit in the game except for the fact that they respawn after a while. So you can't really clear out everything. I don't think you could even in Fallout. Because like, generic enemies, yeah, they would respawn every once in a while, but... So the only enemies you could kill permanently were like named enemies. I mean named NPCs. Like Easy Pete. I fucking hate Easy Pete. Suck. He can suck my stick of dynamite. Stupid idiot. Sometimes I would build characters with enough explosive just to be like, oh I can carry the dynamite. That's okay. Just to be like, oh suck it Easy Pete. I know how to handle myself. Please don't jump me. I'm really not in the mood right now. All I want to do is get back to the stupid town and sell my shit because I'm over caring as fuck. It's not even funny anymore. Look how slow I go. Got anything cool? No. The buildings are like, overgrown too. I don't get it. I don't get this whole post-apocalyptic look of this fucking place. How did anyone let this happen? Why would they just abandon buildings like that? Even these buildings, they're just... They're just outside of town. Why aren't they inside? Why haven't they built the walls around these buildings? And okay, if they built the walls before these buildings, then why build these buildings in the first place? If they're not gonna serve anything. They're just gonna be here... Wasted. I don't know. Just stupid in my opinion. We're gonna talk to all the people that I had to turn in my quest next episode. I'm gonna go on and sell my shit now. If you won't mind. Just because this is ridiculous. I have so much shit. Why couldn't I sell them at that at that other vending machine? What's going on with this game? Is that I broke something? Is it like I can't sell because I did something? Like I couldn't... Maybe I had to buy something first? I don't think it works like that. Maybe I'm not on the side of the vending machine faction. Because every vending machine is like a different... Different company, so we can buy different items from different people. There you go, new armor, better guns. All awesome. See you fellas in the next episode, bye.